The pyramids, the death of JFK, and the dislike button in the YouTube comment sections are some of planet Earth's biggest mysteries. Until now, that is. Because this man killed JFK, and this is how they built the pyramids. After solving those two, I decided it was time to find out why on Earth you can't dislike a comment below a video, yet there's still a dislike button there. Maybe it's just been left there for convenience, or maybe it's doing something. To find out more, I started off by hitting up the website full of angry nerds that secretly controls the internet and everything on it. Pinterest. <laughs> I quickly realised I meant Reddit. On Reddit, I discovered many theories. Some believed it was YouTube's way of trolling its users. Others claimed it was there for decoration, and some others claimed it was removed because people will be sad if people don't agree with them. Something in my eye face? frowning? Not sure what that is. Perhaps it wasn't the best place after all. So I turned to the platform with less angry nerds, Cora, and things started to look up when I read this answer. If you sort the comments by best, heavily downvoted comments will show lower in that list. Sorting them by new will show them by date, time, posted, regardless of the like-dislike ratio. Now to me that kind of made sense, so I went over to one of my videos that's got a lot of views and had a look at the rating comment. And made the ratings display by best comment on this video. Unfortunately, the top comment was someone trolling me, had 26 likes, but no sign of dislikes. So I checked out another video and noticed that on a few videos, comments with the most likes were not actually the best performing. So maybe, maybe the thumbs down was actually doing something. To cut a totally pointless story short, there is an answer, but it still has elements of speculation to it. Basically, many moons ago in 2013, Google decided to integrate YouTube with their Google Plus platform in an attempt to force people to use it, even though nobody wanted to. If someone commented on your YouTube video, it would show on Google Plus, and if you commented on a YouTube video that you found on Google Plus, those would pass over to YouTube. On Google+, Plus, if you wanted to like something, you would click their G+, button. It's basically a like. When clicked, the number next to it would tick up. The thing is, on YouTube, they had like and dislike buttons on the comments at this time, which showed how many people had clicked on each of them. So you can imagine this caused an issue. You can only hit like on Google+, Plus, but dislike or like on a comment on YouTube, which meant they changed the flipping thing to match Google+, Plus, meaning you could only like a comment. You could click the dislike button on YouTube, but it would show nothing as a score. A few years later, YouTube made it so you no longer needed a Google Plus account to interact with YouTube, but unfortunately this feature remained. But does the dislike button actually work? We still don't know that. Well, according to the internet, YouTube kept the dislike button on the comments because it was too hard to remove it as it was just in too deep in the code, so touching it could cause an issue on the platform like a tripwire on a bomb. Personally, and I know nothing about coding, so my opinion isn't valid at all, but that just seems like total nonsense to me. I'm sure YouTube could get rid of it if they wanted. The other side is they just wanted to keep the platform all friendly and lovely, but I don't buy that either, because they would have removed the main dislike button below the videos if that was true, right? We're not really getting very far with this, are we? Or maybe the dislike button on the comments is tracked, but not shown to us. So this might explain why the comment on my video with the most amount of likes is ranked below a comment with significantly less likes. Now in 2015, YouTube released a statement. They didn't actually say what the button was doing, but they did say, the rate of dislikes on comments has dropped by 35%. Now this means something must be happening when you hit the dislike button, because how would they know it had dropped by 35% otherwise? Let me know what you think the dislikes button does and hit the subscribe button as we release three videos a week to help you make videos, promote them and start to grow your own YouTube channel. And if you want to know about dislikes in general, to find out if they even matter, watch this video here.